Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we learned what is set entry, what is list, what is condition builder, what is position builder. In today's video, we're gonna create one part of a strategy. So we'll be creating uh, a strategy which has two sets, one long set and one short set. So it will be a simple SMA crossover strategy. So it will be, uh, we'll create the strategy on a list of nifty 50 stocks. So let's start creating the strategy. So in the entry condition, first we'll click on add. Here we'll use the position keyword. So position keyword is one of the most essential and important keywords in Traitron. If you want to learn about the position keyword, there will be a card right at the top of the video or I'll link, put a link in the description of the keyword documentation page where you can learn about why position keyword is necessary to be used in Traitron. So let's go to the condition building. So first we'll use close keyword. We'll use greater than and we'll click on the plus button here. It says block copy and we can just paste it. Now in position, we can use SMA keyword. Now, if you click on symbol, we can select the candle type. So let's select 15 minute time frame. We'll do the same thing for the SMA keyword, 15 minutes. So if you want to change the candle time frame, all you have to do is click on symbol and you can change whatever time or time frame you want. Once this is done, all that is left to do is add the instrument. So we'll click on instrument name, we'll select NAC and we'll select nifty 50 list. So make sure you're selecting the list. So this is all the stocks. So list are kept at the bottom and before the name of the list, list word is written. So this is a good way to identify which is list and which is stock. We'll click on nifty 50 stock list uh, and we'll click on again instrument name for the SMA keyword NSC search for list nifty 50 so we have essentially created what we are actually checking is if the previous candle close was greater than previous candle SMA and the period of SMA if you want to set it's currently set at 20 if you want to change it to a different one we can click on SMA here and just change it to 10 if you want. Now this is just checking if the close is greater than SMA. Now if you want to check if there was a crossover and we want to enter after the crossover, we'll need to add another condition as well. So we'll click on the plus condition button here. I will click on the plus button in the condition block itself and paste it again. We'll change the sign to less than here and then again paste the SMA block. Now in position, we'll click on position, we'll use the minus two candles. So essentially here we are comparing that the close of minus two candle was less than SMA and the close of minus one candle was greater than SMA. What this essentially means is one candle closed below SMA and another candle closed above SMA signifying the crossover. Now if you want to add another condition, let's say time, we can add that to time keyword greater than number so please note that Traton uses 24 hours format for the time keyword so for 9 30 will be 9 30 let's say if you want to enter at one o'clock it will be 1300 so since we want to enter at 9 30 and keep it as 9 30 submit so we have successfully created a entry condition block for our set one. Now in the next video, we'll also learn how to add positions and how to create the set exit. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.